It's Wade's Weekly Wrap-Up. Today, we're having a top 10 list and the continuing adventures of Where's Wade. Here's your host, Cub Master Dave. Hey there, Palmetto Council. Thank you for tuning in to the July 9th Weekly Wrap. First off, I want to give a big shout out to everybody who shared last week's Weekly Wrap video. You made that video the number one watched weekly wrap of all time. Thank you so much. That helps get the information out to our leaders. Now, I've got a challenge for you again. I want you to again share this week's video with three of your scouter friends in the Palmetto Council so they know what's going on. Plus, if you're watching this on YouTube, go down here in this corner. I want you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell next to it. You'll be notified as soon as the weekly wrap video is posted and you'll be the first to know what's going on in the Palmetto Council. Now, if you watched last week's video and you saw the wonderful compound word on Wood Badge, we had a great testimonial that occurred. Here, listen to this person's testimonial on what they thought of last week's Wood Badge video. I'm not even a boy or a scout, but I feel like I need to sign up for Wood Badge now. Wow, that's a screaming testimonial for you to sign up for Wood Badge. Well now, here's our top 10 list of excuses we get for those who don't want to sign up for Wood Badge. Here's number 10. 10. Wood Badge is only for Scouts BSA leaders. That's not true. It's not just for those wearing the green epaulets, but also for those wearing blue and those wearing silver. Hey, any color matters, really, any color. You wear any color epaulets, you can go to Wood Badge. Number nine, Wood Badge is for lifelong elite scouters who have done everything else. Well, we know that's false. It's for experienced scouters and for new scouters. We want all scouters to come and get training at Wood Badge. Hey, number eight, I'm too old or too young for Wood Badge. Hey, that's not true. We've had people from age 18 all the way up into their 70s attend Wood Badge. If you are registered as an adult leader, you are eligible for Wood Badge. Number seven, attending Wood Badge training won't make a difference in my unit. Well, we know that's not true. A trained leader improves the quality of your unit. So come to Wood Badge and get trained and help your unit out. Number six, Wood Badge is another camping and outdoor skills course. Well, that's definitely not true. Yes, you're gonna be outdoors and yes, you will be camping, but that's not the focus of Wood Badge. The focus of Wood Badge is leadership skills. Many Fortune 500 companies give this training out and it costs them five grand to do that. This is something that Scouts offers for you to use, not only in Scouts, but also outside of your scouting adventures. Number five, I will have to buy a special uniform and insignia just for the Wood Badge course. Nope, your uniform shirt that you wear to your Scout meetings is all you need to bring to your Wood Badge. You will get provided a Wood Badge neckerchief, but hey, your Scouting uniform is all you need. Number four, you need to be in top physical condition to attend a Wood Badge course. Well, that's not true either. Hey, if you're in a wheelchair or maybe you've broken your foot a week before, it's okay. You can come out. You'll be able to participate at your level of activity that you can, you can participate in. It's not a big problem if you have a handicap. Number three. Wood Badge will take time away from my already jam-packed scouting schedule. Yeah, it'll take a little bit of time, but think of it like this. You're investing in the future. You put a little bit of time here, and it's going to make your future activities run so much smoother that the time saved will be noticeable. Number two, the ticket is a series of arduous tasks that only benefit the council. Hey, a Wood Badge ticket is a contract that you make with yourself. It helps improve your skills and make you better. The benefit may be your unit or it may be your district. It might be the council, but this contract and ticket items are for your personal benefit. And the number one excuse that people don't want to go to Wood Badge, I can't afford the cost of Wood Badge. 
Hey, due to a generous donation, if you were in the Palmetto Council, you get to participate in Wood Badge this year for free. That's right. All you have to do, go to the website, sign up for Wood Badge, and pay a deposit. Now, that deposit is basically like earnest money. It uh, makes you have a little bit of skin in the game. Once you complete both weekends of Wood Badge, that, ref that will be refunded to you. So you get your deposit back in full. So it ends up being free. So that's not an excuse. So there's your top 10 excuses for not going to Wood Badge. And you can see I debunked all of them. So you have no excuse. You need to go to palmettocouncil.org, go to training, go down to Wood Badge, and click on Sign Up Now. Don't miss out. This free training opportunity may not be available in the future. Where in the world is Wade? Man. Oh, I go by the scout office to apologize to Taylor Justin. It's closed. I don't know what I'm going to do. If Wade had subscribed to the Palmetto Scouter YouTube page, he would have known the scout office was closed this week. This week's photo of the day actually comes from the Lancaster newspaper. They highlighted troops 720 and 7200. They spent Thursday evening, July 1st, placing American flags along Main Street in downtown Lancaster for Independence Day. Great job, troops 720 and 7200. If you have a photo of your unit doing an awesome activity, send it in and you might be featured on next week's Weekly Wrap. Announcements, announcements, announcements. announcements. announcements.